Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel in case you miss any of these meetings. Today, we'll be discussing Apple TV and Apple TV Plus. Essentially, what Apple TV is, is it, it's an it's an extension of Apple and their ecosystem. So Apple is comprised of phones, computers, iPads, um, headphones, and other accessories such as that, and one of those accessories being Apple TV. So if we go here to the Apple TV on the section of the main Apple homepage, when you type in apple.com, we can see that Apple TV is up here. So we have the Apple TV player, we have the Apple TV app, and then we have Apple TV Plus itself. So if we look at the Apple TV home player deck, as we can see, it's a, it's a uh, cube which plays the Apple, which runs Apple TV. Essentially, you just hook it up to your uh, TV as you would um, any other DVD player or anything like that, and it will, it will play a uh, it will play Apple TV um, starting right there. So Apple TV 4K unites uh, your favorite Apple services within one streaming app. So this starts at around $129 um, and you can experience different channels. Like you can watch different movies, um, combine different subscriptions with this and kind of mess around. You can also watch different live TV, live sports, um, so Apple TV is needed where you can watch ESPN, MLB, ABC, um, CNN, catch up on your news, catch up on your daily sports. Apple TV Plus has some different variety of features. So these features being shows, films, kids entertainment, and other things that might be entertaining to you and your family. Apple TV does make their own shows. So shows like Ted Lasso are um, shows that are created by Apple TV and other shows like that. Apple Plus Fitness can also work alongside with, app with Apple TV. So if you have the Apple Fitness Plus app where you receive your daily workouts and other things like that, your TV can now pair with that function as well and allow you to work, a lot, work out on a bigger screen rather than just looking at a phone or an iPad or a computer. Um, so you can work out right there on the TV and you can see your beats per minute, the calories, the time, and all that, all that good stuff. Your watch can also pair, your Apple Watch can also pair to these functions. So in order to have all this, you can see your Apple Watch stats here. You can follow the workout here and then you can do the workout yourself in order to get that uh, get that pump that you need. Apple Music Plus also comes alongside this. So if you're an Apple, U Apple Music user, you can use uh, Apple Music alongside the Apple TV to play whatever music you'd like straight from your TV. So let's say you're hosting a dinner event and you wanna play some relaxing jazz music or a Christmas party where you wanna play some Christmas music on your TV. With Apple TV, you can do that right away. Apple also has the function of karaoke. So Apple Music alongside the karaoke function allows you to use your TV as kind of a karaoke machine. So you and your family can both enjoy these functions and allow for the use of some family bonding and allow for the use of that karaoke machine that's built right in. So you can follow along easily to any song that you choose that has that karaoke function. Some songs might not have that karaoke function, but depending on which song it is, it most likely will. There's also Apple Arcade that comes alongside the TV. So Apple, Apple Arcade, as we can see here, essentially allows you to play video games with your phone or with a remote. So with the remote that you're given with the Apple TV, you can be able to play games or you can also compare your phone to the TV in order to have kind of like a kind of like um, a controller right there in your hands to play alongside. So here we can see this sort of tennis game between SpongeBob and other characters that are a part of the that are a part of Cartoon Network um, and Nickelodeon. Um, so we can see here a game running. There's also a wide variety of games that Apple Arcade. Uh, provides for you when you first sign up. And also you can download games that can be played on your TV um, when you want. There's also the photos function with Apple TV. 
So Apple TV allows you to look back on your memories, your shared albums, your different albums that you have, and then of course you view your photo library. So let's say you wanna look back on your photos that you've taken throughout the year, and you wanna see all the memories and all the fun that you've had on your vacations and other things of that nature. Apple TV allows you to pair that to your TV. It can expand the photos for you and you can see your uh, photos in high resolution quality since the TV is 4K um, and whatever TV you pair it to will hopefully be 4K at the same time. Um, you can see the different types of photos, um, play the different videos and other things like that to get a look back on what, uh, on what you have done with your photos throughout the year. And FaceTime is getting the new big screen treatment. So with new with the new um, function of Apple TV and Apple TV are with the new function of Apple TV and your iPhone pairing alongside, you can now FaceTime using your television. So if you really want to capture that moment in a big screen and have your family call on that big screen or have a work meeting on that big screen, you can now pair your phone alongside the new face uh, the new FaceTime feature where you can see everybody right there, just like how we see in the image. So essentially what, what, what happens is when you pair your phone to your TV, your phone acts as the camera. You can move it around, you can walk around with it, show different people different things, but you are hooked up to the TV where you can see the people on the other side and then they can see you and they can do the same things that they typically would on a FaceTime feature when you were using it on the phone iPad or computer. So here we can see the relative size of the uh, home uh, Apple TV home thing. And then we can see the relative size of the iPhone and then the relative size of a TV and how it would look. So there's cinematic experiences now. So true to life picture and unreal sound. So Apple TV with the 4K feature that is combined with it allows for the different types of audio and eye popping um, features um, that, a 4 that a 4K TV would allow for. So they have Doble Vision, which works alongside the vision of what you are seeing on the screen. So everything popping out at you. HDR, uh, HDR, I think that's HDR IOTA Plus um, allows for the same thing uh, where they work uh, connected. Um, to make everything seem much more clear, make everything pop, make the colors um, more vibrant, and also allow for the volume to be increased. So as you can see here, here's the function of it alongside different things like Jurassic Park and Space Jam. So pairing your Apple TV alongside the Apple TV HomePods um, allow for that kind of like kind of like that speaker system. So if you have two HomePods, you can connect, which are these things, you can connect them to uh, allow for a greater sound use and other things like that uh, when using your TV. You can also use the Hey Siri function in order to activate your HomePods, which allow you to talk to the which allow you to talk to the HomePods, um, and kind of like enhance the experience and allow you to re receive both text messages, phone calls, and other things like that. Um, and it also allows you to, to control your home using your voice. So here we have spatial audio and the enhanced dialogue, where we you can see the true function of how these will work together. There's also the Siri remote that comes alongside the Apple TV. So the Siri remote essentially is just a little box, um, a little tiny rectangular thing that you'll be using to control your TV. It works as a regular keypad where you just up, down, left, and right, or left and right, and then the middle button will allow you to control it. There's a power button. Um, there's the Siri function, just like an iPhone. So if you were to say, hey, Siri, play play Ted Lasso, and then Siri would play Ted Lasso right there for you on your TV. There's also different pairing functions um, where you can go back and then you can also pair different devices. And then you can also say, what should I watch? And then Siri will have personal recommendations for you to watch different movies or shows. Or, hey Siri, what did that person say in the movie? So if you're somebody who can't necessarily understand what the actors are saying, because sometimes they talk very quiet, you can say, rewind the scene 10 seconds 
and turn on subtitles and Siri will do that for you. Or if you have any questions about what you're seeing in your movie, you could say, hey Siri, how high is Mount Whitney? And then Siri will tell you exactly about that mountain that you see in that movie. Um, and then also you can see uh you can see show me the babies in the room which essentially is keeping track of all your connected smart home accessories in the control center so essentially what the babies in the room mean is all the devices in the room so we have the apple home pod we have your iphone your computer your uh your ipad and other things like that so using this little this little controller here we have the pl uh, pause play button we have the volume buttons and then we also have the mute button so here we have the best supporting cast in television. So the iPhone is manufactured uh, is a multifaceted remote that allows you to easily play different things. So if you uh, misplace your remote, your phone essentially acts just like a remote, just like the remote you got would. Um, so this allows you to control your TV, to control your to control what you're watching and other, other things like that and allow you to turn down the volume simply by using your phone. Also pairing um, pairing the phone to the color balance. So finding the right color balance is really important when you're looking at a TV. Seeing as some TVs are either off color or highly saturated in color, which affects the way that you view your TV. What Apple does is it does a color balance test where you will hold your phone to the TV and essentially what it will do is the, the TV will read your phone and the colors that are displayed. So it'll flash pink, green, yellow, orange, red, and it'll go through that color cycle repeatedly in order to make sure that your TV is calibrated to the right function and the right colors um, when you're using Apple TV um, alongside it. There's also audio sharing um, that comes alongside uh, the Apple TV. So if you have AirPods, um, which are little Bluetooth connection devices that allow you to listen to different uh, movies and songs, you can now connect them together in order to listen and have an enhanced movie experience with the sound right there in your ears. There's also Siri on AirPods. So if you're looking to play something, once again, you just hit the little stem of your AirPods and you say, Play, play Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. And then Siri will play Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom right there on your TV. There's also SharePlay where you can connect your phone alongside the TV in order to look at different things on your phone, such as if you're hosting a Zoom meeting or other things like that, straight to your TV in order to enhance the experience. There's also lights, camera, action. So there's smart home interactions, um, that can happen on your TV. So say you want to look at something uh, in particular. Let's say you have cameras that are set up and you want to look at those, as we can see here. So there's a movie playing, but we can also take a look at what's happening outside. We can turn off the lights if you are connected to your smart home. You can also say good night. You can have a movie night. You can say good morning. There's a cooking feature if you're looking to cook alongside different tutorials and other things like that. There's the leaving home feature, which will activate, um, which essentially means that you're leaving home and the TV knows to power down um, and essentially go into a kind of like a locked mode state where it can't be used. There's also the meditation mode where meditation allows you to kind of uh, have a guided experience and kind of calm down, wind down from a long day. There's the arriving home function where you want your TV on and ready to go for when you hit that couch um, and you just want to wind down. There's also automation. So the way that this works is allowing yourself to kind of control your home with the smart features of both both the TVs uh, or with both the TV and the other smart home features that you have. And your privacy and security, of course, is designed to protect you. So there's two Apple TVs. Um, there's Apple TV. Uh, there's the Apple TV 4K with Wi-Fi, or is there, or there is the Apple TV 4K with Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Essentially, these are two different things that range in two different prices. So the cheaper one is $129. The more expensive one is $149. Both of them have 4K resolution. This has a thread network support. 
This has the uh this has gigabyte Ethernet. This one only has 64 gigabytes of storage, which is the one without the Ethernet function. The one with Ethernet function has 128 gigabytes of storage. They both have the A15 Bionic chip, which essentially means they're running extremely fast, faster than a lot of modern computers nowadays. And then they're also using the Siri remote uh, with the USB-C connector, which allows you to play through, um, which allows you to use your voice in order to control your TV. So here, if we hit the buy function, we can select these products, add it to the bag and just go forward like that. But we can also see here, we can also use AR to kind of see the Apple 4K TV to kind of envision what it will look like in your space before you buy it. Because sometimes that is really important to kind of see what things will look like right before you buy it. And then also when you do buy the Apple um, 4K, uh, the Apple TV 4K, you will receive three months free of Apple TV Plus, which Apple TV Plus is their subscription service where they host a lot of movies and they make a lot of movies and other things like that. So if you wanna watch Snoopy, you can stream Snoopy. If you wanna watch Coda, you can watch Coda and other things like that that are created by Apple and, um, and the shows that they produce. There's also the Apple TV Plus app. So let's say on, you're on the go and you wanna take your TV with you. Well, you can't do a lug around such a large thing, um, but luckily you can have your phone with you with the Apple TV Plus uh, app right there, ready to go, ready to stream the same shows that you'd get on your TV. So this allows you to watch all your different favorite shows, different favorite movies, and al also allows you to download them when you're on the go. So let's say you're on a flight, you can watch the movies just the same as you would for Netflix or Amazon Prime Home Video. Um so let's go here real fast and we can take a look at the different kinds of shows that we can see, the different movies um, the Apple TV is creating like Monarch, um, Legacy of the Monsters. There's also the Ted Lasso. Um, there's a ton of different shows that Apple TV creates themselves. Um, and then you can also stream uh, other movies and other shows from uh, different providers that don't necessarily work alongside Apple, but they are streamed on the Apple TV Plus um, subscription. So here we can see all these different kinds of movies, all these different kinds of shows that allow you to use them. There's also the MLS Season Pass, which allows you to look at different football games or different soccer matches and things like that. But of course, you can also pair different um, sports features uh, to the Apple TV if you're looking to watch sports at whatever moment. Um, other than that, there's nothing really else for me to talk about other than the fact that Apple TV is uh, one of those things that kind of has an enhanced experience to go alongside your other Apple ecosystem um, products. Like if you have an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iMac, other things like that, they connect seamlessly and allows for an easy transition and allows you to watch the shows that you want to watch right there. So once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel in case you miss any of these meetings. Thank you so much for watching.